Today I'm going to demonstrate the use of a stock panning control while mixing music for Dolby Atmos, which will help you take complete control of your mix. Let's get into it. The Divergence Panning Control feature enables you to manage the sound distribution between speakers. This feature allows you to have more control over the positioning and movement of audio objects in three-dimensional space. If done correctly, this detail can help you create a more immersive and lifelike environment for your audience. Let's focus on one speaker, specifically the center channel, just as an example. Using this Divergence Control, you can manipulate the program material to be centered or spread to the left and right speakers. Without divergence, the audio will only play through the center channel. With full divergence, audio will play through the left and right channels without that center channel. I want you to think about divergence as an accent. If you're working on a mix and say you're losing your vocal, sometimes adjusting this divergence control can be a better solution than adjusting the volume of the track itself. By default, Pro Tools surround painters have a divergence setting of 100% which means that a signal that is completely panned to one speaker will only be audible in that speaker. However, if this divergence setting is lowered, it results in a progressively wider source signal. When the divergence setting is less than 100%, the tracks will be routed to neighboring speakers to some degree, even when the pan location cursor is positioned next to a single speaker. All right, let's touch on divergence for the center and side adjustments. For the center percentage, in film and video production, the center channel is usually reserved for dialogue. To ensure that dialogue is heard clearly, it's often necessary to keep other elements such as music out of the center speaker. This can be achieved by reducing the center percentage on music tracks. By doing so, music that's panned to the front of the sound field is panned only to the left and right speakers. This forces that track to have a strong phantom center, and this is the sound that we're all accustomed to in the stereo world. Reducing the center percentage value makes the center speaker at the top of the grid less visible. At zero, the center speaker is completely invisible, indicating full phantom center. In terms of the side percentage adjustments, for 7.1 and 7.0 surround formats, the side percentage controls whether or not there are discrete side channels for the track or phantom side channels. As you decrease the side percentage value, the speakers located on the sides of the grid become less visible. At zero, the side speakers are entirely invisible, indicating a full phantom center setting. When mixing music for Dolby Atmos, try experimenting with this divergence panning control. It can help you highlight program material without changing the volume. As always, thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for me. It goes a long way to helping this channel grow. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.